Now a preview of a story that you'll see tonight. We're uncovering how local law enforcement is tracking terror. The director of the FBI says the agency is investigating cases of homegrown violent extremists in every single state. Now he's calling on police in every community to help fight terrorism and detect threats in our own backyard. Only on Eyewitness News, Mike Montecavo sits down with both the FBI and state police to find out how the two are working together to do just that right here in our area. The war on terror is something that will never end. From the attacks of 9-11 to the horrific scene of the Boston Marathon, keeping people safe is priority number one in the U.S. One group on the FBI's radar right now is ISIS. U.S. intelligence officials estimate more than 3,400 Westerners have joined the ranks of ISIS. And the fear is the recruits will go undetected as they plot or fund terrorist attacks in the U.S. We have investigations of people in various stages of radicalizing in all 50 states. To assess the threat here in Rhode Island, I took my questions to the FBI and state police to find out how they're working to protect the state. Not only are we looking for folks that want to travel and fight or conduct an attack here, there's also a whole network of people that finance. So what is the FBI doing to combat ISIS in Rhode Island? Coming up tonight, hear from that FBI special agent and the state police about a special nerve center in Rhode Island where all threats are investigated and what analysts are looking for and how you can be on alert for terrorist activity. Mike Montecalvo, Eyewitness News. And you can see Mike Montecalvo's special report, Tracking Terror, tonight starting at Eyewitness News, live at 5 right here on WPRI 12.